my mind is blank. <laughs> is this any good? For us, the bar is really high in terms of accuracy. AI can actually achieve that incredibly high bar. My name is Nick Hodder. I'm the Director of Digital Engagement and Transformation for the Imperial War Museums. Imperial War Museums has existed for over 100 years. We've been collecting oral histories that help tell the stories of war and conflict. We have over 8,000 oral histories. That you'd have had a reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder. You have cassette tapes. So the first challenge was digitizing all of that. And we made those recordings available online. But someone with hearing loss, we won't be able to listen to that audio. And it's not very discoverable. The challenge really was the transcription. And a lot of people have kind of very heavy accents. And we started to talk to Google and Capgemini uh, about the possibility of AI transcriptions. So using Gemini, we're able to transcribe over 8,000 oral histories. That's 45,000 unique recordings, over 20,000 hours of audio. Our error rate is less than 1%, which is significantly more accurate than our human transcription. And AI was incredible at very quickly picking up these accents. It's also really good at understanding where there are disfluencies. So AI picks up on uncertainty and uh, the curator or researcher is then able to directly check that. The huge contact window was really important and it provided summaries, captured the entities, the data, the people. We think we've saved 20 years of uh, person hours. The initial project was primarily about transcriptions, but then our thinking evolved. What if you could ask questions of these things? What we built is an incredibly powerful tool that allows anyone to engage, to better understand the past. We're using an LLM to search these interviews. The fascinating thing is the ability to leverage sentiment in your questions. So we asked a question the other day of a man called William Stanley Berry, and we said, were you scared? at any point. And he said, I was scared when the plane crashed. But my friend turned to me and said, ah, remember the rule. If you witness a plane crash, you need to get in an aircraft within the next day in order to recover from your fear of flying. These oral histories are actually a lot more diverse than you might think. We've got an interview with uh, the first female aviation engineer. She said she learned about aviation between trips to Paris for finishing school. These amazing stories that you maybe wouldn't discover. And as a researcher, you probably completely change how you're approaching a subject. It could save you huge amounts of time, but also it's really engaging. We could create essentially composite characters based on real stories to allow you to ask questions within, say, a museum setting or generating an avatar, but without putting words into someone's mouth. As we get further away from the First World War, Second World War, first-hand accounts become far harder to access. So it's absolutely critical that we make this kind of tool available. This is so important to transform people's understanding of war and conflict, the causes, the consequences and the impact on people. So it's really critical that we undertake work like this. With Google Cloud, Imperial War Museums has found a new way to connect people with history.